Hey, it's Kev with Blender Binge. In this short video, I want to show you how to move the pivot point of an object in Blender 2.8. Ready? Let's go. Now, this kind of works in any version of Blender, but I'm just in the current version here, Alpha Build 2. So I want to show you how to go in here and move the pivot point. Now, the pivot point is where the object moves, transforms, and, and uh, scales and rotates from. So for example, if I hit spacebar and I choose transform, okay, you see it's rotating from the middle. If I scale it, scaling from the middle. If I move it, kind of moves from the center. But if I want to change that, say I wanted to rotate this, this guy around, say this edge over here, okay? Fast way here, and it's not the only way, but it's the way I'm gonna show you. Just go to modeling, okay? And we're just going to select edge, so I can hit this button up here, or I can hit two on the keyboard. Select this edge, and then I just go to mesh, snap, and I say cursor to selected. That changes the cursor to the selection. So now if I go back into layout over here, I can say object, origin, and I could say origin to 3D cursor. And now I can move this guy. The pivot point of this guy will be around this edge. Now, why would I do that? Well, if you get into rigging, this helps a whole lot because you can define where an object rotates from and you can set up the articulation to follow that. So if I were to say shift D, duplicate this guy, hit enter, and now I'll kind of rotate him out here. Oops, shift D again. Enter. I can move this guy say up and over. All right. And then I were to parent this thing. So let's say I select this and I select this and I hit I hit object parent and I say just object. Okay. Now I select this guy and this guy. I can hit control P for parent, hit object. So now if I rotate this guy, I'm rotating here. Oops, let's select this guy, this guy, control P parent. And I can kind of make this guy collapse down on top of himself just by rotating from there. And I can tell it exactly where I want it to rotate from. So do you kind of see where I'm going with this? This is why you would want to be able to do that. Okay, so some people asked in, in the last video I made how I was able to get that, that object to unfold on itself when I did the UV unfolding. This is how I set it up. And I just kind of made a bunch of planes and I set it up this way just so I could have it do that for you. Okay, so quick and dirty, very short video. Hopefully you got something from it, learned from it. If so, hit like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and we're all good to go. See you in the next video. Thanks.